Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Don't forget to subscribe to Unreal and Gaming. Here, you'll find the latest Dragon Ball news and content. Also, don't forget to like the video and follow Unreal on both Instagram and Twitter. Kakarot! You Kakarot, you will be the first to turn on notifications. Then give this video a like right now, or else I'll destroy you! <laughs> Involving both the God of Destruction Beerus and Hakaishin Vegeta now continues to intensify on Beerus's planet, it would only now appear as though as with Vegeta now beginning to push Beerus to his breaking point, there seems to be something very strange happening with Beerus's power that only Whis is able to now take note of, as with Whis now having to put this into question by reminding Goku that if Beerus were to enter this level of power that it only now is going to pose an even bigger threat to Vegeta, the million dollar question now going forward is does Vegeta have what it takes to defeat Beerus before Beerus enters this level of power, or will it ultimately become too late for Vegeta with Beerus now having to unleash his full power in putting Vegeta down once and for all? Now before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, including its manga, anime, video games, fan animations, fan mangas, and more, in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga, the Dragon Ball Super anime, Dragon Ball video games, and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball Universe, then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise. And with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for supporting the channel, and now let's dive straight into the video. As our story continues back on Beerus' planet, with Beerus now looking as though he is about to unleash his true power now onto the surface, with even Whis now going as far as to warn Goku about this, it was only from there where Goku went on to respond, I'm starting to see it now too. He's changing, and as crazy as it may sound, but his energy feels even more destructive than it did before, with Whis responding, although this may not be what Vegeta wanted to do, in order for someone to actually go as far as to do this, truly needs to be commended for their efforts in pushing Lord Beerus this far. When I first saw that Lord Beerus was in fact much stronger than he let off, I knew instantly that it would be within his own best interest to contain this power and only use it if the right time calls for it, he says. And since Lord Beerus seems very eager to finish this, then drawing this power back out and using it on Vegeta will be exactly what he does. Now watch closely, Goku, for what you are about to see will be Lord Lord Beerus' true God of Destruction power. To where it was only then within that very moment, as Beerus had gone as far as to power up with such tremendous amounts of force behind it, not only was Hakaishin Vegeta being shown getting blown off of Beerus completely, but it seemed as though Beerus was in fact looking to finish Vegeta off once and for all, as Beerus went on to utter, Vegeta. It's an incredible, Goku responds. I can't believe this. His power, it's absolutely massive. It's quite remarkable remarkable indeed, we says, but I sure hope Vegeta's prepared himself for this. God, I can't see, Vegeta shouts. What did he just do? Wait a second, that power, he looks 
different. Oh, as expected, Whis went on to chime in, and there he is, in all his majesty. What you are seeing now is Lord Beerus' full power that was brought forth onto the surface, Goku. As with Beerus now having to finally complete his evolution by now bringing forth his full power onto the surface, it was only upon having to do so where Beerus went on to address Vegeta by telling him, you should feel extremely honored to have drawn this power out of me, Vegeta. Whis was the only other deity who had gone as far as to bring this power out of me, and so behold, I told you from the very beginning that you were simply no match for me despite obtaining this new power of yours, he says, and there is no going back from here either, Saiyan. So I hope you're ready. That look on your face says it all, he adds. You didn't think I was capable of such things, did you? You should be afraid, with Vegeta responding, so this is your true and full power brought forward? He looks so different. I didn't know these gods of destruction were able to transform like this. It's all starting to make sense. With Goku chiming in, now I understand why Beerus kept quiet and didn't want to fight me and Vegeta for so long. He was waiting for us to reach this level, with Whis chiming in, and now that you both have, at least one of you will be tested to see if you are truly worthy of being in the same league as him, he says. Now tell me, Saiyan, how would you like to go out, Beerus asks. Should I lay you out on your back, or do you prefer eating dirt with your face in the ground instead? Either way, you won't be walking away from this the winner, so hurry up and pick your poison, with Vegeta responding, Sir, you've got some nerve making me into a joke. As if any of this actually scares me, I will defeat you, Lord Beerus. I will surpass you, and I will destroy you. Uh, just you wait. Or maybe you forgot that we Saiyans can evolve during battle, so it won't be long now. Uh, I bet this new form of yours isn't even anything worth taking serious. But then, before Vegeta could even finish from behind him, that was when Beerus had gone as far as to speed blitz behind Vegeta by telling him, Stop talking, mortal. The only matter that I do not take seriously here is you. Uh, that speed. Oh no, crap. As right before Beerus could go as far as to make contact by chopping Vegeta, Vegeta in the back of the neck, Vegeta fortunately enough was fast enough in having to teleport out of the way with Beerus having to respond, you fool. You really think you can outsmart me? I can already feel you coming and it won't work on me twice. As out of nowhere from behind Beerus, Vegeta had gone as far as to try to attack him as Vegeta went on to shout, God damn it. Oh yeah? Well come on then, show me what you can really do. Then make me, Saiyan Beerus says, give me a reason to take Take you seriously. As even with Vegeta now shown trying to do his best in actually connecting a shot with Beerus, it was only upon Beerus now being shown having to dodge each and every single one of Vegeta's strikes where Beerus went on to tell him, you may try as you'd like Vegeta, but you will not win. Your speed, your power, your movements, everything that I see coming from you, I already surpassed. By nature, you may be capable of breaking your limits within battle, but even that won't help you. You possess the power of a destroyer, yet you still choose to struggle between thinking like a god and thinking like a mortal. And this will lead you down the path to your ultimate downfall. As he was only from there now shown elbowing Vegeta in the stomach, that's when Beerus went on to continue, I hope you don't make me regret choosing you to pass this power on to Vegeta. Uh, how could you possibly be questioning your decision, Vegeta asked. Of course I was the right one. I was the only one. And I am the rightful warrior to take that title as being a destroyer. Not Broly, not Kakarot, no one. So I won't back down now. With Beerus responding, is that so? Then you know the pain will only continue then, don't you? Unless you can somehow show me that there is more to you than what you are right now, then you are finished, Beerus says. Maybe after this, I'll go and see what Goku is all about 
and test myself against his ultra instinct. Maybe he will prove himself to be worthy enough. I won't tell you again, Saiyan. Either step up or get knocked right back down. As with Beerus now being shown backhanding Vegeta across the face, it was only upon Vegeta having to maintain balance where Vegeta went on to comment, no, I can't let this go to a waste. Why does this always have to be a repeated cycle? I am at the height of my power and yet somehow, some way, I still can't do it. Is it really my mind? Are my thoughts truly getting in the way of victory, he asks? It can't be. I have to focus. I've broken through and shattered my limits before and I won't let this be what stops me from doing it once again against Lord Beerus. Is that all, Vegeta shouts? I'm not done just yet. No, in fact, it's not. As with Beerus now being shown having to raise his arm up in the air, that was when he went on to continue. You can pretend not to be phased, but I'm going to finish this little fight of ours since it appears as though you've reached the limits of your newly discovered power. Payback's in order, with Vegeta asking, oh, is that what you think? And you just expect me to lie down and give up without pushing back? Oh, you and I both know that it's not in my nature to do such things. So as long as I am still breathing, I'm not letting up against you. With Beerus responding, then you won't be unless you are able to stop what's coming. So I would suggest for you to quickly get your act together before it's too late. Oh, so then why don't we find out then, Vegeta responds. Since you're so eager to finish our fight, if you're going to do what I think you're going to do, then I'll just match you move for move as I shatter my limits once again and surpass you in a matter of moments, mighty destroyer. Now you have my blood pumping and I can assure you that I won't be going down without putting up a fight. I'm looking to see this through until the end no matter the odds, Vegeta says. And you think it'll be that easy, Beerus asks? Fine, then show it to me. Prove yourself worthy, and if you truly believe you have what it takes to be at my side, then hold nothing back and show me why you are everything you claim to be. Because this will be your last chance to do it. Now make your move, Saiyan. With pleasure, Vegeta responds. As Vegeta from there was also now shown doing the exact same thing, it was only from there where Vegeta went on to tell him, Let it be decided then, as with both Beerus and Vegeta now shown creating Hakai Balls of their own, it was only from that point where Goku went on to ask, hey, um, Whis, what happens if Vegeta and Lord Beerus's Hakai attacks collide? Are they not afraid of destroying the entire universe? With Whis responding, well, be that as it may, I don't think any of that is on either of their minds right now, he says. However, if something like that were to be the case, then I'll be sure to step in and make sure that things are rather contained and don't result in every everything and everyone's destruction. As we only from there see how both Beerus's and Vegeta's Hakai attacks seem to be getting bigger and bigger, Whis went on to continue. Oh, what's even more is that both of them are looking to give it all they have, which means Vegeta, just like Lord Beerus, is solely focused on destruction and nothing more, which is good, but I hope Vegeta is ready because Lord Beerus certainly appears to be. As right before Vegeta was shown having to fire his Hakai ball at Beerus, Vegeta went on to address Beerus by telling him, either I will die on the hill that I've been climbing or I will reach the very top as Universe 7's mightiest warrior with unrivaled power. I'm ready. Let's do this. As we only from that point then see how both Beerus and Vegeta's Hakai Balls were now shown making contact, as there only appeared to be a struggle between the two happening, it was only from there where Goku went on to respond, I get why Vegeta wants to push himself to such extreme lengths, but I hope he doesn't destroy himself in the process of hoping to beat Lord Beerus during this. He's taken quite a deal of punishment and was still able to bounce back despite getting beaten before while having this power, so uh, it's amazing to see how strong he's gotten since then, but I hope Vegeta doesn't sacrifice his own life just to win this battle here. I believe in you, Vegeta. You got this! As Vegeta went on to shout, How's about that? Am I still as easy of a fight as you thought now? There is much more to a Saiyan's power than what is shown on the surface, with Beerus responding, not bad, Saiyan. It seems as though you had more gas in that worn down tank of yours after all. But this is my attack, and I won't allow for a mortal like you to beat me by using them against 
me. You won't last, Beerus adds. I can feel you slipping. With Goku having to chime in, uh, this is amazing. The energy that's coming from those attacks is tremendous. With Whis chiming in, well, I think that settles that then. Although it appears as though the fight is at a stalemate, while Vegeta appears to be losing his edge, Lord Beerus is not. Interesting, he says. He's testing his resolve. Oh, which only means that Vegeta likely won't last much longer during this ordeal. There is no doubt that Lord Beerus is in fact proud of how far Vegeta was able to take himself after obtaining this destructive power, but I'm afraid he doesn't have much left until Lord Beerus completely overtakes him in the end. In which, as we only from there now see how Vegeta was beginning to struggle, that's when Vegeta went on to shout, It's stuck! Why isn't it moving closer towards him? I truly didn't think you had what it took to actually hold out against me now that I'm at full power, Beerus says. So I commend you for your efforts during this fight, Vegeta. However, you still have a very long way to go. Isn't it obvious by now? You've lost the edge you had in this fight, and soon you will also lose that form of yours as well. I've been watching you very closely, and I've been paying attention to every little move that you made against me, he says. Every step, every punch, every breath you took was all being noted by me. And so it's clear that although you would certainly be a match for anyone else, you are still no match for me at my best, Vegeta. And you still don't know how to use that Hakai of yours properly either. It's not about adding additional force into making the attack stronger. It's about applying even more destructive energy within it to make your attack that much more effective. Here, Beerus says, let me show you what I mean, Saiyan. Your ambitions are to simply win at any cost, while mine are to simply destroy you by any means necessary. That Hakai of yours is child's play. Watch, Beerus says, with Vegeta responding, what? But it can't be. Then how was I able to get the better of you before? Oh no, my attack! But how? As with Beerus' Hakai now being shown having to overtake Vegeta's, it was only from there where Beerus went on to continue, you only got the better of me because I allowed for you to do what you did for the sake of seeing how strong you really were, and now that I can see that you've hit your limits, watch as I overtake your attack and wipe you out. As with Beerus now seemingly looking as though he was about to do just that, it was only right then and there during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Hakaishin Vegeta vs Beerus manga chapter number 3 special then comes to a close. Now, make no mistake about it, right now, this is without question a do-or-die moment for Vegeta, and now having to see whether or not Vegeta actually has what it takes now to overtake Beerus in battle, as it would only now appear as though Beerus is now looking to wrap up the battle against Vegeta, the million-dollar question going forward is, will Vegeta to some extent be able to somehow repossess and gain control over this battle against Beerus, or will Beerus do exactly what he had been claiming this entire time, and finally put Vegeta out of his misery to where we are currently working on the final manga chapter, which is that of manga chapter number 4, which will be available on the channel as soon as we end up smashing our like goal, to which right now for us to reach the finale, the like goal for this video is going to be 10,000 likes. A very simple like goal for us to achieve because all you guys really have to do is scroll on down below and give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button, and that's essentially it. It's simple, it's easy, and more importantly than anything else, it's free. So, I can't wait to show you guys the conclusion and the finale to this story because it's not essentially going to end the way you think because there is going to be a very shocking moment that's about to occur and to that I can't wait to show you guys once we end up smashing our like goal so again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so very much for being here to where if of course you guys also just so happen to be new to the channel then I do encourage you all to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon that way you guys never miss a single video that is posted onto the channel on top of once again making sure to smash smash that like button, tune back in for more, and I will be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy guys and have a great day. Peace! Hello! Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi! Silent Cell, me and the fans are having a moment. 
That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>